Greetings, Keishalings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Undead Unluck, Chapter 116. Okay, last time, um, it kind of looked like uh, Nico was about to be, like, absorbed, killed, or whatever by a ghost. You know, the whole, like, I'll give you your wife back. Oh, that's great. <laughs> You'll be dead, though. <laughs> kind of deal. You can join her in the afterlife. Kind of deal. And that's what I think's happening. Also got a little bit more of their backstory and everything, so that was nice. But uh, all of the um, like people that you know were in the cryo lab, they've been all destroyed. So his memories have been destroyed. Stake your soul on the sword. Let's zoom in a little more. Um, I'm going ahead, even if it means taking the inventions that house your remaining memories. And shattering them. Oh, well, he... He's getting eaten by, uh... By ghost. What? Ghost? The hell? Are they fusing? What's going on? Oh, they're actually fusing. Oh, okay, never mind. Interesting. He cut me. No. Yeah, he's kind of attacking with a scythe. It's weird. My hand won't move. Oh, God, he's severing your body and your soul. So whenever a part gets hit, it means you can't control it anymore. Thanks, Undead. I couldn't have pulled this off without you. Ghost phase two. Okay, so it's a possession thing. Also, there's his hand chained. Interesting. Unforgettable has finally lost his sense of self. It took over Nico. Nico! You can hear me, Nico. It's no use. You were the one who broke him in the first place. Okay, so Ghost was waiting for this? Okay. Uh-oh, there goes his legs. Or at least one. My attacks ain't connecting. Now my legs. Nice. Very nice. This is fun. I'll chip away at you piece by piece. Well, this has probably been one of the more straight up OP fights they've had to deal with. I mean, you know, on a small scale anyway. It's not like when they normally go like phase two and whatnot where they're massive. The body parts that he's cut off, it's your soul. Do you understand that? A moment ago, you used your soul to move. Aha, so it's calling back to that. Back there, you didn't use your brain, flesh, or bones. You changed your uh, inter yeah, interpretation of movement to mobilize your soul. That's why when I chip away at your soul, it immobilizes the part of the body I took from. Or it took it from. This is great. It looks like I'm being added to the world has helped you better understand how souls work. I feel like I've just made a friend. I've always been alone with no one to relate to. But not anymore. Now that I've gained this vessel, I'm able to touch others. Okay. I'll be able to make so many more friends. Okay. Ghost is kind of weird. Oh. It's like the most personality we've seen in, well, not really. There have been a few others that had personality. But still, it's one of the most personalities we've seen out of a rule. What do you say? Will you be my friend? Go to hell. Okay, so old Andy's back. Oh, old Andy's the soul and he's just coming out of him. Okay. If physical attacks won't work, then I'll just have to make use of my soul. Too bad. Uh-oh, grabbed him by the neck. While in this form, I can make any spot on my body. What? Astral or physical at will. Okay, so now you can, you're just going to kill him from both sides. Lovely. You stood no chance against me. 
the second I took over forgettable. Well, will you be my friend? You want to be my neighbor? Or will you be my food? They both got their swords and they're like, how about neither? <laughs> well, look at that. You can move, you can move both? You're pretty clever. This guy can switch between astral and physical form at will, so if I were to attack him with both forms at the same time, what is that a good idea? You'll end up, oh no. No. Not Foucault. Hitting this girl too, you know. She's right in front of my core. Wait, his core's right behind her? Damn. Her soul's in a very weakened state. The slightest scratch could kill her. <laughs> okay, Seto fucking Kaiba. Um, it's like, if you... This is straight up the fucking gambit that Kaiba used against Yugi when in uh, Duelist Kingdom, where he like stood on the ledge and it's like, even though this dual disc doesn't give any physical traits as, you know, we previously or later do in the series... It's like, I'm just going to, like, if I take any damage, I might file off this ledge. And then my brother will be an orphan and down a sibling. <laughs> kind of deal. I hated that. Bastard. Let's see. Her soul... Uh, uh, <laughs> Humans really are a hassle. They value the lives of others more than their own. Oh, Nico's fighting back. Gah, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. You're a Yuma, and you can't even follow the rules. This is why I hate you bunch of unscientific rules. Oh, God, he's ripping him off. If you're not going to follow the rules, then you're an enemy to science and to me. Nico, I admit defeat, so quit being difficult and give Fuko... Back to him already. Oh, God, he's ripping Fuko out. Andy, use both your physical form and your soul to cut me down along with his core. Even if Ayuma dies, there's a lag between the rule... Uh, a lag before... Yeah, there's a lag before the rule is erased. I confirmed it when Spring died. Take advantage of that lag to put Fuko's soul back into her physical body. Where the fuck is her body? I forgot. Once you do, you can see her again. Aw, empathizing. Got it, I'll put my soul into the katana. Okay, Brooke. Silver waxing moon. Okay, so he's... He's taken out, basically, three people at once with this attack. Well, I say take out. It's Fuko's uh, cage that he took out, but still... Okay. All right, that chapter had some interesting bits to it. The fact that um, Andy can apparently, you know, detach his soul somewhat from his body. So I'm hoping that becomes a thing as the what's left of the series progresses. That could be a cool combo attack or just to, you know, get around certain obstacles and whatnot. Then you have uh, Ghost fusing with Nico, basically just possessing him, as you would expect from a ghost. I mean, am I right, Cousin It? You know, spooky stuff be spooky. Um, then you've got the whole thing of Nico actually, like, coming back. Like, I didn't think he'd be coming back. I thought his spirit had been so broken that he was just gone. But no. The possession apparently did not fully take hold, especially when you piss him off by being non-scientific. Now that is a uh, thing that Senku would approve of. Now, I'm kind of wondering what phases three and four would have been had it like lasted long enough. But I love his possession form. It was basically just like a tattered cloak over his body, and then he got like an energy scythe. So that was cool. And also how he was able to attack different parts of the body to then, you know, make them stop moving. That 
that's kind of OP <laughs> um, in certain regards. So, but yeah, Andy, with the help of Nico, overcame that. And we, like I said, we got to see a little bit more of a power up for Andy with his soul form, old man Andy. It's kind of like young Cable meets old Cable. <laughs> um, but yeah. And Foucault has been freed, and due to Nico's research, there is a slight delay in when a, after the death of a rule, that it becomes not a rule anymore. So, Andy better fucking hurry up and get Foucault's soul back in her body, because otherwise, she's gone for good. Um, actually, I kind of wonder what happens to all the people that have died now. Oh, shit. <laughs> they're just gone if they're... Well, actually, Ghost was eating souls. So I guess when he dies, all those souls are now gone, right? Damn, that, that's unfortunate. Um, I mean, chances are they probably would have died from injuries, especially with the ones that Ruin was setting up to lure Ghost in. So they probably had fatal wounds, so they probably couldn't have been saved. But Fuko... She's got a glimmer of a chance here. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think that's about all I have to say about the chapter. Um, it had some cool stuff. I love that Nico came back, even though it would be his final time. Um, he's been a fun character. I, I like the scientist types. But, uh, anyway, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel. So go check that out. And as always, later days. And until next time, quichelings. So power!